is consuming tap water, which has a level of deuterium as sugar, will contribute to cancer causing um, potentially. Yes, potentially. Do we have any research to show that? No. But we do know quite clearly that high deuterium does cause problems. So I would say accumulation of deuterium from any source is going to be a problem, especially if it's a source that can get into the cytosol and then potentially get into the mitochondria. So this is why I don't believe that water, tap water, is a good idea. I don't see tribal people taking water with them. You know, I, I usually point that out to people. Look at tribal people. Not one of them takes water with them. Not one of them consumes water. The only people that consume water are agriculturalists. You know, you never see a tribal person having dysentery. You see an agriculturalist having those sort of things. Why? Because they're drinking tap water or river water. Why? Because they're eating carbohydrates. And you only get about 0.44 metabolic water from eating carbohydrate, and it is higher in deuterium as well. So that means you, you're, you've you got less, like 0.66 per gram of water, less from carbohydrate uh, metabolism. So where are you going to get the extra water? This is why people, when they're on a high-carbohydrate diet, they're very thirsty. They need more water. You know, so... When you're on a, on a low carb, fat actually produces 10% more water from one gram to 1.1 gram of water. So, you know, that's the difference in terms of water production. And it's deuterium depleted or low in deuterium, which means that the body can actually deal with the, you know, the 115 parts per million. But once you get over 130, it becomes more of a problem for the body to deal with. So, you know, animal foods are much lower. Grain-fed animal foods are usually around the 120. They're still in the safe zone. Um, gr um, Grass-fed are in the 100 113, 112, 115, around that mark. So way better. So, yeah, it's, yeah, the, but it would, it would n contribute negatively, let's put it that way, until... So that's why I, as you know, I use Evian water um, for my coffees and stuff like that. I minimise the amount of drinking water. Most of my hydration comes from fat by becoming fat adapted. That's the only problem is until people become fat adapted, they can end up dehydrating themselves and so may need to consume certain water until their own systems upregulate their antidiuretic hormones and access more water from their own internal from their fat stores so takes time for that ad adaptation sometimes for some people more than others depending on a whole lot of factors mitochondrial health and many other things